Hey guys, Trav4 here, and today we're talking about the Bauer 1S Odin knee guards. So these knee guards come stock with the 1S pads, and the pads, as well as the blocker video review, will be coming out very shortly after this one, so keep your eyes peeled for that. So the 1S knee guard is based off the Bauer Supreme knee guard, which I've used for over a year now, and I've not had a single complaint about. And, you know, with this being said, the 1S knee guard has some big shoes to fill. I've used the 1S knee guard for over a month now, and for about two to three skates a week, so I've gotten some good feel of the product here. And it's been thinned out a lot, and beefed up a lot for further protection of the knee with the curved composite, but this does have some negative effects on the product. I found that this beefed up protection has made it you know, a lot stiffer knee pad and a lot stiffer than the last generation with the Supreme and the landing on it in the butterfly has been a lot less enjoyable, almost, uh, almost unpleasant if you will. You know, they've added this free floating composite shield that now protects the, knees, the knee padding and the upper thigh from any direct shots and in the past, the last two generations of Bauer knee pads, I've used them both, and I've had not a single issue. Uh, in the past, uh, you know, the shield isn't an improvement, but also isn't a downgrade, considering the previous product was near perfect. You know, the curve is a lot thinner on the knee guard, you know, slimming down the profile from the previous generation. And I think it's a positive, because some guys like a massive European-style knee pad, like myself, but there are other guys who like a slimmer fit one, and if you like the slimmer fit, you're really gonna enjoy this fit and feel that they have on the 1S knee guard. You know, Bauer has stuck with the same four Velcro strapping system that they had in the last gen, which made it so successful, and it stops the knee guard from slipping down on the knee. The first generation that I had, uh, it was a black and red one from about four years ago, I'd say it, and it was only a three strap system, and it kept sliding down all the time. Every five minutes on the ice, I would pull it up, try to get it to stay, and then slide down again. The last generation, so about two years ago, that Supreme Knee Guard, which I still have to this day, it has a four strapping system and it has never slid down on me once in the last over a year of using it. So uh, Bauer's proprietary materials are used to add cushion and when the goalie lands in the butterfly, like I said before, I've not seen this make an improvement and if anything it's almost become less comfortable despite being filled with their Poron XRD and Flexorb gels to give the most utmost comfort and soft landing, but again, I haven't seen it exactly that way. You know, Vent Armor encapsulates all the materials providing, uh, you know, better durability and I've yet to see a single sign of durability. You know, no fabric tears or anything. Uh, you know, Bauer has been flaunting their 37.5 technology to reduce sweat buildup and that it dries up to five times faster in all their products. And I've yet to see it make a single difference, uh, you know, in the 960 XPM helmet, the pads, the blocker. But in the 1S knee guards, I have noticed it drying a little bit quicker, not a lot. I wouldn't say by any means it's five times faster or dries five times quicker. Um, you know, when a knee guard gets wet, like I said, it tends to slide down the knee. And the last generation Supreme has fixed this issue, and I'm glad that these ones don't have that issue as well. The entire design here is meant for a butterfly style goaltender, you know, who wants more of a thin profile, but back with enough protection. And I can say the protection here is there, you know, it's a protective knee pad. The protection hasn't gone down and it's probably gone up a little bit, you know, from the last generation. Uh, and this is an absolute quality knee pad, but I think that the last generation knee pad was so perfect, uh, like a full 10 out of 10 I'm talking, that they literally could have just swapped out the colors from the black and yellow of the last gen, to maybe solid black like they have it here, slapped on a 1S logo, you know, I would have been over the moon happy about it. And then that wasn't the case here. I think they tried to fix an innovative product that was already the best in the market. And, you know, with all in mind, I'm going to give these 1S knee pads a 6.5 out of 10. I think they're a good product that will appeal to a different style of goaltender. But for me, it just wasn't for my taste. I think I'll stick with my last generation Supreme knee guards. So guys, that's today's video. So what knee guards are you using right now? What style of knee pad do you prefer? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like the videos, you know, leave a thumbs up, support us, and subscribe for some more dead honest reviews. I want to thank you guys all a lot for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.